What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Episode 10 of bodyweight cutting now, which reminds me of another 10 that was recently achieved here and that is 10,000 subscribers. That is absolutely crazy. I didn't ever expect that 10,000 people would want to listen to what I have to say, let alone the ability to potentially help out um, 10,000 people achieve their own goals in this whole like body weight movement fitness kind of area. So I just want to say a thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel, the new subscribers and the people who have been here since the beginning. Um, and just thank you for joining on the journey. But it's not really about me and what I'm doing, it's more about you and that is why I do this channel, that's why I make these videos and it's why I've made the Facebook group. It's so interesting to hear how you are getting on and how you are achieving your goals in this whole healthy fitness body weight kind of journey. But to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, I want to do a 10,000 subscriber workout challenge. And because this isn't really about me, it's about you guys, I want you to challenge me, but also every other bodyweight warrior to a workout challenge. So if you go into the comment section down below and leave a suggestion of what that workout could be, in the next vlog, I'll be doing the most upvoted or liked comment and that will be the 10,000 subscriber workout challenge and then everyone else can join and maybe post or share their results and then maybe there'll be some prizes for the winners. Remember let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below. It's actually like a workout for my arm holding that. On to today we're just going for a walk with the doggy and all I have is some water with some salt and vitamin C in. It's a great way to start the day with some low intensity exercise, get that fat oxidation going, get some water and just get outside in nature. Bye Lee. <gasps> After that kind of 30 minutes of morning low intensity cardio, just walking the dog, hot back, made some coffee, made some breakfast, which was that Thai green broth, kind of my signature uh, and literally like my favorite breakfast. I'll put a link to it in the description down below to a recipe that you can follow. I also had some dark chocolate and some almond butter while I was just cooking it up. I didn't put that in, so that's also included in the macros for this meal, but generally again, high fat, low carb, good amount of protein, a good way to start the day. I'm gonna go eat this now, reply to some of those Facebook group comments, some YouTube comments, and just get involved in the community, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. So team, it is now 1.30. I've been doing a little bit of work the last couple of hours on an app, and some other bits and bobs. Now, though, I kind of fancy some food, so I'm gonna eat. Um, and I'm just gonna, also going to eat my pre-workout meal. I'll train in a couple of hours time. Probably shouldn't eat that one. So I've got some kind of leftover barbecue meat, which is good. I think I'm going to have chicken from that. And then just a bunch of vegetables that I'm going to throw into a salad. In... And there we have it, guys. We've got a super simple salad, just some beet leaves, beetroot, feta, avocado, leftover barbecue chicken, drizzle, balsamic vinegar and olive oil, and then on the side we got those cucumber and almond butter chunks. Basically, again, a bunch of fat, a bunch of protein, and loads of veggies. Also, additionally having some of this, 85% dark chocolate. It's kind of like my weakness. I had some with breakfast, and I'm having some with lunch. It's kind of healthy, right? Still sticking to that carb backbone approach. As you can tell, I mean, we've got about 10 grams of carbs on the beetroot. Weighed in this morning and I was actually weighing at 88 kilos. So that means I am two kilos down from the start of this series 10 weeks ago. And the cut is still going strong. And progress is going strong as well, which I will share with you later on. Hello. So it is now like half past four, just finished up a couple of hours working. It's amazing how much work you can actually get done 
you know, sat at home getting distracted. It's also nice to get a good espresso coffee and a cheeky macaroon for that pre-workout snack. Now we're gonna go head off and train. I'm gonna try to train outside as it is looking like a nice day. So let's go hit that session. So we're in the park. There's some pee bars behind me. There's a tree here to hang some rings on. It's actually a pretty awesome little spot to train. You may notice something different about today's workout and that's because I'm adjusting my usual training routine to cater for my shitty elbows at the moment. I've kind of been trying to train through a little bit of my golfer's elbow and rehab it and it's just not really getting much better. I need to just learn to drop the ego out of it and accept the fact that I'm going to have to take some time off some exercises. However, movements I can still do without pain, handstand, planche, front lever, all good. So that's quite nice that I can keep those going. And then apart from that, I'm keeping relatively neutral, working the basics and just really accumulating lots of volume. You'll see the reps are quite a bit higher and that's more for blood flow reasons. Nothing major. Today is a deload day, so the volume's not high either. Just going to have fun outside and try not to injure myself. of it for this session it's relatively simple this would make a great beginners program in fact it's very very similar to the beginners program in the bodyweight warrior ebook just two circuits first we're doing dips rows push-ups and then some external rotation that's because i can't actually do any vertical pull at the moment it's just annoying and then followed by that ab circuit of hollow body side plank rotations arch body repeat easy seeing as the workout's done i think it's time to go grab some more food So that session was pretty crap and I was fully intending on having a pretty solid normal session. I was going to go in, do some relatively intense moves like a style to press, L sit to straddle uh, press to handstand and then maybe some full front levers, etc. And then when I got there and I tried to do something, I was just like, shit, I am just, I can't. Like I literally, I don't know what happened. Um, my heart rate variability was low this morning, which if you don't know about heart rate variability, I'll link to a video I made about super compensation heart rate variability. So that is an indicator that I was either overtraining, under recovered. I had to listen to my body and change up my session completely. I didn't do anything, I just worked basics, some shitty handstand holds, some L sits, some basic stuff, um, things that didn't hurt my elbows. And I've been trying to avoid injuring it further, but I haven't really taken the proper steps to reduce my volume and actually focus on rehabbing it, which now I think I'm just gonna have to do, I have to drop my ego I have to just face the facts that I'm injured and if I continue to train then I'm likely going to make it worse. Um, so I want to reduce that injury period as small as possible. So if you do have an injury and you're watching this video then I understand it sucks. And so you know when you're just about to hit some goals, like the other day I got a two second pretty solid straddle planche hold in the gym and I was like yes, three seconds is my goal, like I feel like I'm close. Um, and then. So I will be probably programming tomorrow, figuring out what I'm, how I'm going to approach this golfer's elbow in terms of rehab. I need to do some more research, some more thinking, but the likelihood is it will be similar sessions to today, really going back to basic movements, building up a lot of volume in those, those standard movement patterns. But I will share all that with you in future vlogs. On the bright side, I have got a really freaking tasty like sticky chocolate banana pudding with like frozen raspberries on top. So that's pretty damn delicious. Oh, and I also have some coconut water because standard. Now like half seven, just gonna make the final meal of the day. We've got some more leftover like barbecue meat. So I'm just gonna throw it together, make it into some sort of curry. Keeping the carbs low, gonna keep the fat high as we haven't done a huge amount of exercise today. 
back to the kitchen. There we have it Warriors, final meal of the day. Really simple, taking those leftovers and turning them into something really damn delicious. Pretty low carb, we've got that cauliflower rice and then added in the fats like the coconut cream and then the natural flats on the lamb as well. All round tasty meal, which brings us kind of to the macros of the day, which weren't actually really high in carb. I think maybe like 150 grams maximum, um, which kind of reflects the amount of volume and training we did today. It wasn't huge, it was just a deload day. And then on to the rehab in the future, which I'll be sharing with you. As I said earlier, weight was down, we're now at 88 kilos, so that means two kilos in total for the last 10 weeks. It's been a bit of an up and down sort of journey, but as always, you gotta stick with that consistency, trust the process, and eventually results will come. Thanks again for 10,000 subscribers. It's crazy. Let me know what you want to do for that challenge in the next episode. Leave it in the comment section down below. But that has been it for this week, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. If you have any questions or advice for my rehab journey with the golfer's elbow, I'd love to hear your experiences, your opinions in the comment section down below. If you have a friend who you think would enjoy this series, then please share this with them. But that has been it for today, guys. Have a strong week and peace. Oh,